Okay, everybody. This is the Empress. Y'all, I'm back with another video. So this is definitely going to be a read. Um, if you have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, south node, north node, Jupiter. Look, you can utilize this video, okay? So what we do here is we pull from the Oracle deck here. This is the Millennial Oracle. And then we jump into the Tarot. And then if advice is needed or I need more information, then we go deeper, all right? So let's go ahead and get an energy for the Libras. Oh, we got flatlining. Okay. I see something ended. Yeah, y'all bouncing. Y'all leaving something. Something is over. And then we got turn. All right. So at the bottom is adulting. All right. So you could be taking charge of your life. You're putting in some work. You're maturing. You're becoming more responsible. So some things looks like they have to come to an end. Okay. So I definitely see you leaving a situation behind. Flatlining is definitely a relationship or a situation is dying. Conversation went dead. Can't resurrect or lost interest. So you could be losing interest in something. Okay. Bounce. Leave the situation a person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrapping it up. So something is wrapping up. Like something is coming to a close. Um, then we got turn here. And it's like you're celebrating. You're out. You're having fun. Or some of y'all are done with this lifestyle, this certain lifestyle. It's a lot of capping going on, okay? I see a lot of capping going on. A lot of capping going on. Yeah, no chill turn, okay? Right, so, yeah. Some, somebody here is living a very wild lifestyle here. Somebody may think that it's cap, but it's not. You, I'm getting like y'all really out here living a life, like y'all really out here. All right, so let's see. Tell me more. We got finesse and digital detox. Okay, so some of y'all are trying to get up off of the internet or trying to get away from showing the internet this uh this lifestyle, but y'all been slaying. We got slay. But y'all could be fearing that you're going to miss out on something. But it looks like this this whole side over here looks like a club scene to me. <laughs> so you guys could be hanging out, going to bars, meeting new people. That's confirmation. <laughs> y'all could be hanging out doing a lot. Y'all could be doing a lot, having fun, slaying the scenes. But then when it's time to go... You gone, okay? There's no cap in my, I'm hearing no cap in my rap. <laughs> okay, but sometimes some of you guys may feel like you're missing out on something. So you try to stay on the scene. You're trying to stay on the scene here. All right? So, some of y'all may not even be interested in love. I didn't even see any type of lovey-dovey. No lovey-dovey energy come out. So let's see what's going on with the Libras. Y'all look like y'all just having a lot of fun. Y'all making out. Y'all living life like y'all just living a life. Okay. And it's like something that's a relationship that you could have been dealing with. It's no longer in your energy. Like it's not in your energy anymore. You've it's it's flatlined. You you've let that go. And now you're out here just living life. Like, it is what it is at this point. Tell me more. Give me more info. What's going on with my Libras? What's going on with the Libras? Tell me more about Libras. All right. So, we got the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups. It looks like you got caught up in your feelings before. I feel like you feel like something blew up in your face. A relationship fell apart or a marriage fell apart. You're still confused by it. So you're going to make sure, you're going to make damn sure that next time, you're going to make sure that it's real, that it's genuine. Because I feel like some of y'all got caught up in something previously and it's like, yeah, I won't be doing that again. 
I won't be acting like that again. Now we got the King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Judgment. King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Seven of Swords, Empress, and the High Priestess. Definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like maybe you got cheated on before. You got played before. Why is the Three of Swords here? Four of Swords. Yep. I feel like you're just tired of being in a third party situation. Maybe some of you were separated for a period. Lots of five pinnacles here. Yeah, like you spent you spent a lot of time alone after a breakup. You spent some alone time and it did you some good. It did you some good. You spent some time with you. Okay. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, you walked away from someone and somebody is spending some time to with themselves okay you walked away possibly from a water sign or somebody that you cared about that you you know thought was your lover you guys were in love i see like you could be disappointed possibly with the virgo taurus or a capricorn some type of truth came out with the ace of swords I see you being disappointed. You're disappointed about something. I feel like some of y'all could have emotionally left a situation. You left the emotions at the door. I'm hearing, don't forget to come and pick up your food. Feelings. Don't leave no pieces. You need to hurry and pick up your food. Feelings. While I'm up cleaning. Boy, please, I don't need it. All memories, all the shit, you can keep it. Don't forget to come and pick up your feelings. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting it real big on y'all. Put a lock on the door when my heart was fuzz. Boy, you had your fun. Why the Eight of Pentacles is here? You try to keep a straight face, but you walked away from, you You emotionally left a situation. Okay, after a breakup, you took some time to yourself. And this was a struggle. It wasn't easy to do. It's something that you had to take day by day. Now, King of Wands is here with the Knight of Swords. Some of y'all could have been dealing with someone um, who is younger. You regretted it. You regretted it. Maybe you felt like you and this person should have just stayed friends. So it looks like you're out dating. Like you're on a dating. You okay? guys, it's like you took some time off. You you went through something. You took a break. You took some time off to yourself. You went on a hiatus, possibly. Um, you learned a lot of lessons. There was a lot of lessons learned. But now we look like you're on a dating scene. Some of y'all could have dated someone a little younger than you. Um, and you found out, like, maybe we should just, you know, be friends. Now we got the Four of Pentacles here with, in the future energy. Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So, out of the blue, you may hear from someone from your past. Queen of Pentacles is here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and temperance could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you want some attention. 
You want some attention. You want the affection. You want to be married. You want children. Like, you want all that. All of that, right? But this is a stressful situation. You're thinking about starting over. You'll have to start over. Now, the person that you're dealing with, this person is over here worried. This person is over here worried that this person is over here being sneaky, though. Don't let the, this uh, nine of swords energy fool you. This person is a big time player. This person over here, a big time player. Emperor and another ones. This person, a big time player. Big, big time player. To be an Aries. Um, but this person isn't to be taken serious at this time. They don't want anything serious. Their energy is the Knight of Wands. They're all over the place. They here one minute and they're gone the next. Now, the Empress energy is here. I feel like you have learned, you've grown through this process. You're growing through this process. And I feel like you're you're close the chapter and you're moving forward, but that still doesn't make that still isn't stopping you from wanting something real and genuine and true. You know it's somebody out there for you. I feel like you're gonna keep looking. Yeah, you, you're starting to think like the relationship thing isn't for you. But like I said, you want you want you want the attention, you want the love, the you want the whole shebang. There's someone out there for you, for sure. A lot of times it be when you when you least expect it. When you go looking for it, so a lot of times you don't find it. A lot of times you're not going to find it when you're looking for it. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow and let things be. Let certain things come to you. Some of you could um, be need to do self-work as well. Work on yourself. That has to do with your inner and your outer as well. Work on do some self-love work as well as get you some um, love candles. Okay? When you're going out and you, you got to you know, someone you're going out on the scene with. And a lot of times it's where you're meeting these people at, too. Because I'm seeing a lot of turn-up action from y'all. I'm seeing a lot of, like, clubbing or partying or hanging out, bars. Okay, that's cool and everything. But make sure that when you're out dating, that that's the type of person that you want to attract. Because that's, that's why they're there. Because they like that type of energy. And you got to be sure that where you're going and where you're meeting people at, you understand that that's the energy that comes with them as well. All right, so that's the message that I have for you guys. If this message resonated, be sure to hit the thumbs up. As well, share with your family and your friends. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.